Okay, we are going to look at this quadratic regression calculator sheet and use our TI-84 calculator to find a quadratic equation that represents the data in this table. All right, so we're going to start with step one. Enter the data from your table. So it says choose stat, and then we're going to choose edit, which is number one. And um, I can see that I already have some data in L1, so I want to arrow up, and I want to clear it all all of the um, data out. So I'm going to choose clear and then I have to click enter. Okay, so now um, both columns are empty and I can enter in my data. So I'm going to, for L1, enter my x values. So I have negative 3, enter, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, then I'm going to arrow over to line um, to the column two, and I'm going to enter that data. So I have 50, 28, 10, negative 2, 20, 33, and 80. Okay, so I want to make sure that um, for every number I have in L1, I have a matching one in L2. You don't ever want um, an extra number here. So they, they do line up, and we are all set with step one. Let's look at step two. Adjust our window. Okay, so we're going to go to window, and it says decide your domain and range based on the data in your table. So for our domain, it's our x values. So we want to look at our minimum value for our x, and it looks like it's negative 3. Our max value is 3, so I want to make sure that at least um, I will be displaying a negative 3 to 3. I'm going to choose negative um, 4 as my min and 4 as my max, just so it's a little bit outside of um, our data values. And I'm going to leave my x scale as 1, and then I want to look at what my y min is. And it looks like my y min is negative 2, my y max is 80, so I need to make sure that those are included in my window. And I'm going to use negative 5 as my min. And y max, I'm going to use 85 since it's outside of 80. And I'm going to change my y scale to be about 5. Since there's going to be a lot of um, uh, points between negative 5 and 85, I want to make sure um, it's not um, squished too much, I guess, in a way. So I'm going to change that to 5. And you can use other numbers. All right, so that's step 2. Step 3, we want to turn on our sc scatter plot. So we're going to go to y equals. And we want to make sure that plot 1 is highlighted. Okay, So plot 1, we can arrow up. If it's not, you want to click Enter to highlight it. All right, so it is highlighted. Step 4, we're going to graph our scatter plot. So I'm going to choose Graph and make sure that it shows up, and it does, which is great. Now I can move to um, Step 5, Find Your Quadratic Equation. So I choose Stat, arrow over to Calc. And I'm going to choose number five, which is quadratic regression. And I'm going to enter until I see the data. OK, and there it has um, your y equals ax squared plus bx plus c as your standard form. And you have your a, b, and c value. And if you look down at uh, the bottom of the quadratic regression sheet, I have the equation there um, rounded to two decimal places. All right, so now we have a quadratic um, equation. And then we want to go to step six, and we want to view our um, graph. So we're going to go to y equals. And in y1, we want to choose bars and arrow, oh, um, and then choose number five, statistics. And then we're going to arrow over to eq. And we're going to choose our reg uh, regression equation. And so I'm going to click Enter. And it enters our regression equation there. Um, you could have typed it in if you wanted it to round to decimal places, but this gives it um, more exact. And then we'll choose graph to see it graphed. And there you can see our parabola, and that is how you do quadratic regression with the TI-84.